Welcome to the pub, welcome to my world. I am SideQuest Publications and this is a fitness tracker product review. I have here a couple of different uh, fitness tracker options. I've got the Samsung Gear 2 that I got free with my phone. I have the Fitbit Zip and then of course there's apps that can go on the phone. Now I will, I will tell you right now, considering all the different options, the only reason I use this is because it's really, really useful as an alarm clock when I'm at work. Um, as a fitness tracker, it's as good as all the other options. Nothing special, nothing to set it apart. Matter of fact, I've long since gotten out of the habit of wearing a watch, so that part alone makes it weird for me. Um... I mean, I like that I can sync the fitness information to my phone, but it's not really a necessity for me unless I can use it with, unless I can sync it, uh, link it with other apps for different purposes. The Fitbit, however, I had a Fitbit way, way back when, um, I, for the life of me, cannot remember what model it was. It's something they don't make anymore. Uh, that broke outside of the warranty period and I just now recently got around to replacing it and this was a decent option for the price and that's the Fitbit Zip. Now because of my work, uh, because of what I do at work, I can't necessarily clip that to a pocket or a belt or something. I mean I probably could clip that to a belt, but what actually works for me given the size of this is actually, and you know, revealing my gender here, possibly, um, is I actually clip it to my bra. I just stick it on the inside and it sits there nicely, no problem, it doesn't get in the way, and and it counts my steps. And the nice thing about this is it works with an app on the phone. See, I'm uh, not sure if you can uh, see that with the backlight here. Okay, I can't seem to adjust the backlight in a way that allows you to actually see that. Let's, um, yeah, that, that, well, you can kind of see the word Fitbit now. Um, let's change the settings, the settings so I can see what I'm doing though. Okay, you'll notice, um, lovely thing is you kind of just kind of thump it. Now, you notice that I've only got 18 steps on there today. That's because I haven't put it on yet today. Uh, the, that's telling me I got 19 steps, not a whole big difference. Um, <clears throat> and there, voila, says I got 18 steps there. 18 out of my daily goal of 10,000. In fact, I got both of these set to a daily goal of 10,000. Um, now, the thing I like about Fitbit now is that it gives you these lovely challenges to try. Now, I can do this on my phone. Or, courtesy of having a Windows 10 computer, I can do it on my computer. Let's see, find my location. Oh, hey, I guess that's where it is. Wow, did I finish the challenge already? Oh, yes, I did complete it. Okay, um, what the way these challenges work is you pick different locations. Um, currently, there are three in New York City. There's, uh, that's, that actually just gives uh, me distances for New York City, 3.1 miles, 10 miles, and 26.2 miles, and Yosemite, which gives me Vernal Falls, Valley Loop, and Pahono Trail. Now, what you can do is basically your 
selecting a challenge and then you start of course at the wow that's a very long trail there we go okay you start at the beginning like right here we have mercer river merced river merced river how are you how do you pronounce it anyway you start at the beginning of whatever whatever challenge uh, where it decides to do the challenge and then it as you walk it'll uh, track your steps track your distance you go all along the trail to all these different landmarks glacier point and you can uh, see different See different views, see panoramas of the different uh, landmarks until you eventually, eventually, yes, this was the very longest challenge they have so far, until you eventually reach the end, which I cannot seem to select the flag. Uh, Now, there is one problem I did notice with these challenges. If, let's see if I can find one, because I know I clicked one earlier. Is, in addition to the landmarks, they also have these... Um, Well, these extra challenges, the uh, things to find throughout the trail. And what it is is like this one. I'm not sure if you can actually see what it says. Is It gives uh, me an option to log food. And I'm just going to, for sake of argument, um, this just happens to be what I had for breakfast. So that works the gem collections the problem is each trail has a different number of gems and you actually have to log into the app either on your phone tablet computer whatever before you've walked too far because if you get too far past the gem you can no longer collect it. So you have to do the trail all over again if you want to try to collect all of the gems. I have, to date, walked exactly one trail that I've been able to collect all of the gems, and that was the very shortest trail available, which was this New York 3.1 miles. And that was also the second time that I walked through it that I collected all the gems. And by the way, the gems I collected the first time around did not count towards the second. The problem with that is that it doesn't take into account the fact that some people are going to be using this like I do when they're at work. Um, because, like I said, you walk too far past the gem, you can no longer collect it again um, until you do the trail all over again. The problem is at one of my jobs, I'll typically get something like 10,000 steps in before I go on my lunch break which for some of these trails means I've walked past a lot of trails before I even have a chance to pull out my phone and take a look to see what my progress is. So it, it requires you to check the app frequently in order to collect the gems. Uh, so that, that part, I'd really like it if Fitbit would uh, edit that so that you can collect the gems after the fact instead of having to pick them up when you're actually in that general vicinity. Um, a way to look at badges. I uh, thought there was. Let's see. Yeah, see. See, uh, earned the 10th of November 2016. That was 
getting all of the gems in a singer, single, excuse me, single adventure. Um, I don't know yet if you can uh, get this thing multiple times or if you, it's just a matter of doing the adventure once or if it's, um, you know, a one-time thing and once you collect all the gems in a single adventure, then who cares about the rest of them, you know, except for social reasons. Now, like I said, though, I love the the ability to use the maps. Only thing that could possibly be better is if I could actually go to some of those locations and do the walking around, but um, for a fitness tracker, it's a pretty cool feature. And then we have the app that is Gym Packed, otherwise just known as Packed. This app, provided it works, allows you to uh, wager a certain number, a certain amount of money per week. And yes, it is a wager. You do have to provide a payment method in order to use the app properly. Um, and you're basically wagering that you will, or making a pact, as they refer to it, that you will work out so many times throughout the week. Uh, that's so many days of getting 10,000 steps a day, so many days of visiting the gym, so many days of logging your food or, um, or eating vegetables. Yes, I like to say vegetables. I'm weird. Uh, and of course, uh, the veggies in particular, someone goes and uploads a photo of what they're eating or drinking in the case of the V8 that you could just barely see in that picture or that I could just barely see in that picture. Um, and then other members of the community will vote on it and decide whether or not it really counts. And what happens is you put up you wager the money, like I believe the minimum is $5 a week, um, and if you actually go to the gym however many times per week that you said you're going to do, like for example, I have mine set to $3, three, three, dollars, three days a week at $5 per day, if I actually, I'm on a trial mode right now, I have no payment method added, um, I've just been trying out the app just to see how it works, but... If I had a payment method added, and if it, and if I did the uh, workouts that I pledged or made a pact or wagered that I do, what would happen is if I made it to the gym or the 10,000 steps a day or whatever else three times per day, I would get paid a certain amount based on the number of gym visits or workouts that I made a pact that I would be doing. If I don't make the three dollars, three, I can't talk. If I don't make the three workouts in a given week, like say I only go to the gym once a week, and let's say my, let's say I didn't have the fitness trackers and I was only doing gym visits and I only went once in a given week, then that means that I missed two days and I would then owe the app $10. And that $10 is what is used to pay the other people who make their pledges. Whereas if someone else misses uh, their if someone else misses their workouts, but I make all of mine, the money they pay into the app is what is used. Turn on. The men, money they pay into the app is what is used to pay me. So it's it's um it's an incentive to work out. I mean, you're not going to get rich off of this app, but it's as long as you make your workouts, it's more money than you had before, right? Let's see. No, I do not want to close you. I want... Now, I did try. You might notice that I have... Oh, maybe it's not showing me my activities now. Anyway, for a while, I had only three activities showing. I mean, I've actually been on this app since, oh, has it been October already? Um, I've been on this app for a while now anyway, or at least I've been registered to it. Um, I, for a while, only had three activities logged, all of them three K 
canceled activities. And the reason is because at the time, I didn't have any of the fitness trackers that it was supposed to be able to use. And the store where I work, the Wi-Fi isn't that good. I didn't plan on using the data and just leaving the app running. Um, so, not to mention the gym doesn't have Wi-Fi either. And again, don't want to use data. So, gym, a gym visit for me would not work as a way of tracking my workout. I tried the motion tracker, tested it on a treadmill, and found out, and what you got to do is you got to walk at least half an hour, and they give you an hour and a half in which to get the workout in once you start. You have to walk at least half an hour of a workout of a certain intensity. Now, they don't say what the intensity is uh, exactly. I've seen things that say two miles an hour minimum. I tested this one on a treadmill at two miles an hour, which is roughly what I'd expect to be walking when I'm at work, and I basically gave up after 10 minutes because I ch kept checking the app to see what, if it was registering as being intense enough, and it wasn't. Well, if it's, if I can't walk two miles on, two miles an hour on a treadmill and have it be intense enough, then the motion tractor, tracker is not going to be an option for me at work. Then we have the partner apps. We have RunKeeper, Map My Fitness, Jawbone Up, Fitbit, and Moves. Well, like I said, used to have a Fitbit before. Didn't have my old one uh, available, but that's part of the reason I ended up getting this one. And you'll notice, though, that while these others have the option to connect to the apps with uh, Pact, Fitbit has this little orange exclamation point saying that there's something wrong. Sorry about that interruption. I had uh, a camera that needed recharging and uh, various things going on throughout the day, so this is a different day than when I started this video. Um, as I was saying though, as you'll notice, all of these apps, the RunKeeper, Map My Fitness, Jawbone Up, and Moves, have the ability to add the app to uh, the Pact. Fitbit, however, has this little uh, orange triangle in there. And it says, your connection to Fitbit has expired. Please connect and reconnect to resume syncing your activities. Last updated, Sunday, 12.04. So, let's reconnect and see what happens. Oh, interesting. Now it's requiring me to log in. Fitbit authorize, connect Fitbit. Now, as when I started this video, I did not do much uh, walking in the day. I think I got, as of this morning, I think I have eight steps. However, whenever this is done syncing, yep, yesterday, 15,564 steps. So, let's go back, let's sync now. Your account was synced and zero new activities were imported. Uh, hang on, I had 10,000 steps yesterday. Um, there is one option, uh, it is entirely possible that... It has to be synced by midnight. I mean, I know, I know the the week that you get paid for and Sunday, so you know definitely sync by midnight. Then I don't remember if you had to sync by midnight on a daily basis. Um, well, since the whole point of me using the Fitbit with uh, Pact was getting the steps in, because. Uh, location, motion tracking, gym check-ins, those aren't an option because of uh, the, the data usage and that. Uh, I'm not using those. Jawbone Up, I believe, requires buying another fitness tracker, and I don't need another fitness tracker. I'm not going to buy another fitness tracker just to get this thing to work. So, uh, Moves, however, that's app only. That actually requires keeping your phone on you and it just detects your steps based on 
based on the usage of the phone or based on the movement of the phone. So let's try syncing that one. Let's see. Connect. Yes, I want to allow launch moves. Okay, again. Well, that one's showing me 13,360 steps. Better than nothing. Sync now. Your account was synced and six new activities were imported. Tuesday, 11.29, Thursday, 12.01, Friday, 12.02. Additional, additionally, two workouts were found but cannot be counted towards your pact. I wonder why yesterday doesn't count. Huh. Hmm, let's see, one uncounted. Ah, 24-hour reporting window, that's what it is. I wonder... So, yeah, just yesterday. You have 24 hours in which to report it. So, in my case, the... Packed app should work as long as I remember to sync my workouts from moves over. However, that also means that it only works in circumstances when I'm keeping my phone on me, which which is fine in one job because that's the one where I keep my phone on me because of having the alarm set to let me know when it's time to go on break, go off break, and clock out and all this other fun stuff. Uh, not so good at the other job where my phone gets stuck in a locker and I don't keep it on me when I'm walking around. So, naturally, I would just have to limit how many days I pledge to do workouts in order to get this app to work. But as long as it's going to work with moves, I think I can move on to actually adding a payment method just for a few days a week and, uh, yeah and see if I can get that tiny little bit of extra cash on a weekly basis. Uh, and that was my fitness tracker review, and this is SideQuest Publications. That's all the time I've got for now. I'm signing off, and I hope I'll see you around. Bye!